Yo, what's going on everybody? Akeem here and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, Netflix finally found a writer for the upcoming live action Death Note series. Now don't everyone get too excited because it probably won't go past season one. Now the Black Adam producer is mad about the leaks and IGN playlist is here. Let's drop it. Now Netflix is taking another stab at a live action Death Note adaptation, this time making it a series. Now the Duffer brothers finally found themselves a writer and executive producer willing to attach their name to the soon to be canceled series in the name of Hala Abdel Magid. Now looking at her IMDb, it appears to be the most notable project Halia has been attached to write, but she's no stranger to working on things, haha, with the Duffer Brothers, having worked on a previous Upside Down Pictures project for Netflix, The Talisman. You know what, good for her, but bad for us fans of the anime. Now much like Netflix did with the 2017 film adaptation of Death Note, this series has, I don't know, I would have to say canceled after one season energy written all over it. Now, I am sure you all watching could care less how familiar someone claims to be with the manga and anime series. Like Netflix has a proven track record of making horrible live action anime adaptations. And while this live action series will have nothing to do with the 2017 movie, the reputation Netflix has built up with making unsuccessful attempts at adapting anime still looms over its head. Now those streaming subscriber dollars would be best spent on, I don't know, maybe continuing the original anime, making a spinoff of the anime, or re-envisioning the anime in animation form. What's up with this damn live action all the time? Now Netflix really needs to just take a look at what they did with the original live action adaptation of Death Note and Cowboy Bebop, that particular series, as a case study to stop trying to make it work. Jeez, now, but you know what? We inevitably have this. Yu Yu Hakusho and that One Piece live action adaptation to look forward to coming to Netflix, whether we like it or not. And spoiler alert, Netflix, we probably won't. Uh, anyway, speaking of not liking something, the producer of Black Adam ain't too happy with the movie's biggest cameo being leaked to the internet. Hiram Garcia told Slash Film how frustrated he was about the leak, saying, quote, you worked so hard, but look, we understand that this ending and this dream, this family dream that we had to bring to life, we knew that it was going to have an effect on the fans that were just like, oh my God, we heard them begging for it for so long. And The Rock said when asked how he feels about this leak, I think it's It good. doesn't matter how you feel. Well, that, that, that's kind of weird and, and, and kind of meta too, since he's talking to himself there. Anyways, well, what do y'all think about the leak cameo? Excited for the movie? Comment down below and let's discuss. And finally, today we want to share a new feature, a brand spanking new feature that IGN's been working on, IGN Playlist. Now it's been up and running on the site for a while now and we're excited to announce that a dedicated IGN Playlist app is now available on the iOS App Store for iPhone and the Google Play Store for Android. But what is IGN Playlist, you ask? Well, take a look. IGN Playlist is all of your games in one place. You can build your library and discover new games. Create and follow playlists from friends. Access guides for what you're playing. And rate and rank the games you love to share with the world. Available free with your IGN account. It's for players, no matter where you play. And that was your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank y'all so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous video. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.